I, I've had a lot of people try to talk me into this. They made an analogy to Andre Risen in 1996, I think signing with the Green Bay Packers in, in November, caught a touchdown pass in the Super Bowl. Then the next year, he rebuilt his career. Then the next year, went to Kansas City, where I was, and had a few productive years there. Spider-Man? Yeah. Spider-Man. I just don't <laughs> see it, though. I just don't know if Dez has any separation left in the tank. And and maybe Sean Payton can draw him open, and Drew Brees can throw him open. But I I, I just don't know how productive. I'm not confident Dez is going to be productive. Disrespectful. Oh, Jason Whitlock, let, <laughs> let some of that tension and some of that L that you've taken from the Hugh Jackson interview, let's leave that behind yeah. us and let's get positive on this situation. Des Bryant now being forced to have humble pie. And we always say that cliche, humble pie. But you need somebody to serve you that slice of pie. And when he gets into this offensive meeting room, oh, it's going to be slices served a la mode. Here's the thing. You're not the best receiver on this team. That's Michael Thomas. You're not going to even get the second amount of, of touches and targets. That's going to be Alvin Kamara. Even got a Ben Watson sitting out there. He's going to be forced into a three or four role. Now let's talk about Dez Bryant at 30 years old, playing the three or four position for this team in this offensive passing game. He's getting separation against your third or fourth corner. Or if that is a corner, maybe your safety, whoever that is, your dime cornerback. I love this. And I love that he's in a unique dynamic, as we've heard Jay Glazer say. Drew Brees is no punk. I played with Drew Brees. Drew Brees is the most likable, no punk, no nonsense guy in terms of that balancing act. He's bilingual. He has everyone thinking that he's highbrow, because he is. And he could go down in the gutter with you, get you all riled up, get you pumped up before the game, and be down with you as well. So Drew Brees is going to make sure, one, I'm likable. So you ain't going to want to test me. Two, I got this. If you really want to come at me, Dez Bryant, I think Dez is going to be perfect in this dynamic. Me, I love it. The, the culture that was in Dallas and the culture that's in New Orleans is different. When you go basically to half, nine months without a team and you don't get signed till week nine, ten, you've been humbled hmm. in – me, Golden Tate going to the Eagles, Demarius Thomas going to Houston. I think Des Bryant signing with the Saints is bigger than both of those. Des Bryant can still play. You play when you talk best receivers in the league, you have to bring up Michael Thomas's name. It's not just Julio Jones and Antonio Brown. You have to bring up Michael Thomas. Des Bryant is going to get open. And if he's not open, Drew Brees is going to throw him open. You're going to the most accurate quarterback in the league with one of the most innovative play callers in the league. Des Bryant is going to look like he – the last year he had a great year was the last year he played with a complete throwing quarterback, and that's Tony – he's been playing with Dak Prescott. Yeah. So it all of a sudden it looks like he can't play. Now everybody going to say, oh, man, why was Des Bryant on the street so long? Oh, man, Des Bryant can still play. He's going to do extremely well. Yeah, I mean, I think Des definitely still has some left in the tank. Um, but what's Des' mindset? That ultimately is going to be the deciding factor. Ding, 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 to see ding, if ding. He's successful or if he's not successful. <laughs> he should be and really what, hungry. And I think oh. what Wit is just saying is that time has showed us that Dez just doesn't know how to tone it down, and that's what that's what it's I'm fearful the culture of. Culture. Will he work being you? with the Cowboys yes. his entire career? Yeah, Angelo, you, don't you see have that? no choice now. Yes, <laughs> you were at home. He has no choice but to tone it down. And be right. Now, be she'll right. be right back home tomorrow. Right. If he can't tone it down, he's out the league. Bye bye. Period. So I hope he understands that. But can he fit in this offense? Absolutely. You talk about Ben Watson. Ben Watson came out with me for the draft. He's 37 years old. Still getting it. And he's the third, he's the third, third. leading receiver in this offense. Right. Still man. tooting. Uh, uh, Traquan Smith had has 12 receptions on the year mm -hmm. for 214 yards and three touchdowns. The man had 111 yards and two touchdowns against the Redskins in one game. Yeah. yeah. So they need help. And Dez Bryant, I think, is. It can come in there, can run their offense, cannot be the focal point, but yet still make plays. You hit on something right here, and we got to explore this. The reason Des Bryant has been looked at as a malcontent is the same thing that happened up there in Seattle with the Legion of Boom. You got two different subcultures over there having a conflict, and we know what we called it in our locker room, soft belly. So soft belly was, okay, when things get rough, we face adversity, Who's leading this team? And are you down? Are you hard? Are you barking with us? Are you ready to bite? Or are you kind of like, oh, I'm going to say the 
front runners saying the right things. Russell Wilson, right or wrong, was called a soft belly by a lot of cats on that team by behavior. The Earl Thomases of the world, the Cam Chancellors, the Richard Shermans was looking at Russell Wilson like, hey, bro, we over here looking at it this way. Dad's Bryan was looking at Dak Prescott, a rookie. And he was like, yo, you soft belly, bro. We are facing adversity in our second year together. And I'm not seeing this come back from you. You go to Drew Brees with that, one, you're not even going to think about going at him like that because you think he's with you. But that was the issue that ignited Dez Bryant to become in this malcontent. He wanted Dak to have the same spark that he had. Dez what? Bryant wanted the football. Yeah. He's like every other damn receiver. He should. Yeah. He's Sean Johnson. Throw me the damn ball. All this soft belly, hard belly, <laughs> belly belly, whatever. None of that. He wanted the football. He wanted his stats when the game was over so he could feel good about himself and be on his way to his next contract. He's not going to get the ball here the way he wants it. Des Bryant thinks he's the number one receiver. The same way when I wake up every day, I think I'm Denzel Washington. Mm. We're delusional. <laughs> you can't fix that delusion. Don't, don't, don't you think, <laughs> don't you think Sean Payton and Drew Brees sat down in that meeting mm. and told Des yeah, Bryant exactly yeah. what your role is going to be, exactly what's going to happen? TJ, if TJ, you, TJ, TJ. You ever have a cousin come out of jail? Listen. And when they come out of jail, oh, I'm going to do this, Des I'm going to do that. I'm going to be in well, church every what? Sunday. I'm going to be... Soon as they get out of jail, what do they do? They play the Bengals on Sunday <laughs> and, act, and let him act like he don't remember that meeting. He'll be released on Monday. Yeah, now this you is the my question. Do that. You have any family come out of jail? They all sound good when they end jail. Man, look at that ponytail. You know, we <laughs> a lot of family in the jail. They all sound <laughs> good when they in jail. Hey, and and if, they, if you can't live up to it, see ya. There it is. And he, he, he's Dan no dummy. Bryant seems to love football, man. I think he'll get it right this time. Yes. I think he'll get it right. Because like we said, it's that infrastructure there in New Orleans that's so much different. The than French what Quarter. Than what man, watch what he's in Dallas, <laughs> though. Hey, the French Quarter. Watch these playoffs. They better get Dez <laughs> the in his character true. before, and he fixed that. Admit that. Dez Bryant. Coming out of Oklahoma State. Yeah, he yeah. had his issue with whatever happened with his mother and that. Not, uh, not forgetting that. But Dez Bryant overall corrected a lot of the character conversation about oh, him. Yeah, turn on the tape. He was still throwing tantrums <laughs> he on doing... the sidelines wow, the last time guy. we saw him so play. So when Tom Brady curses That's out Bill O'Brien... That's emotion. That's okay, emotion. Tom Brady can curse out Bill O'Brien. It's fine, though. Dez can't curse at his teammates. Going to hey, games. Come on. second leading receiver is out of tomorrow. That's just, a problem. You just, yeah, yeah. You, the man got a handful of rings. He can do whatever he wants. Des Bryant has no rings. Don't bring Tom Brady in into team, this. In a team game, there's no such thing. You do whatever you want because it's going to be With five possible. rings, you it's do whatever you want. You know, Tom Brady went at it. It's called passion. Des Bruyne does the same thing. It's malcontent. malcontent. He's a problem. <laughs> He's a character issue. He's like, dude, I watched the film with you, Dak. Throw me the damn ball. And then when you do throw the ball, throw it somewhere where it's catchable. Des Bryant went from there will the be, penthouse to the There outhouse. will be plaques. Quick of Tom Brady yelling at everybody in the Hall of Fame in Canton. There will be none of Des Bryant <laughs> but Des doing nothing. Des Bryant was a top five receiver, and then he realized he had dropped drastically, and that's why he's yelling. He looking because he can't get open. <laughs> that's the issue. Just that. Throw come me on, open. Hey, come on. The playoffs, he going to light it up. I, I truly believe that. I truly believe it. I, ho I hope y'all right. I, 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 I won't mind being wrong on this. 